Yo, what's going on, wrestling fans? Kevin Hellions here with another Smart for Death. So, watch TNA Impact, Impact Wrestling, whatever you want to call it, which is something else I gotta write about and mention at all sometime soon. And uh, for a really hyped up show for what was supposed to be the pay per view that would have been airing if Destination X wasn't a theme pay per view, mm. Lackluster? Like, I don't, I don't, for something that's supposed to be pay-per-view quality, I don't think Lackluster uh, says enough. Uh, so quick notes, um, uh, starts off with Immortal in the ring, and Stink comes in and says his stuff, and his cr little crazy thing, and then there are random clowns around the arena, and these clowns go in and take out people from Immortal throughout the evening. Okay. Uh, the Pope versus Mojo versus Robert Roode. Joe's got a rear naked choke on, Rude flips over, so even though Joe's got the move locked on, Rude gets the pin, because his shoulders are up. At least it's used sparingly. I really hate this move, like, like when someone's got the surfboard on and the ref counts their shoulders down. If you're the one in offense performing the move, then I don't know that your shoulders should be pinned down. I know, I know it's just a gimmick, I know it's storyline. It's not used that often, but it, it's it's one of those it's one of those things in wrestling that's always bothered me when they do it. Uh, Shane Moore versus Austin Aries. Uh, entire match was Shannon Moore's. Every single freaking bit of that match was Shannon Moore's, which is kind of bad because Austin Aries is a fantastic wrestler. It's all leading up to Austin Aries cheating. Uh, tried using the book of Dilly Gaff. Ref takes that way, uses chain, knocks out Shannon Moore, pins him. Uh, Alex Shelley came out had words with Austin Aries, so that could be a really good feud. Leads to some good matches, hopefully. Um, Terry versus Madison was nice. A little gimmicky, a little goofy. Uh, the whole thing wrapped around the president. Terry gets a win. For a knockout match, really good. Terry and Madison Rain, always good knockouts are, uh, again, after, after a lull, again, having much better matches than the Divas. Um, let's see... What else? I know I missed something else here. Oh, uh, Mexican America beat British Invasion. I, I just like Hernandez is great. I don't care about this gimmick right now. I'd rather see LAX come back. At least they were entertaining as hell. Uh, so then we're up to Sting versus Anderson, and Sting gets his token yearly title run. Uh, it's all that's happened in TNA since he's been there. Once a year, Sting gets a title run, and it's. It can be planned, and you know it's coming, and this is when it happened, he knew he was getting it soon because of this whole Joker new gimmick thing that Sting's doing, and I just, God, I just did not care about TNA this week at all. Uh, Destination X was fantastic, there's a couple matches next week's episode that on paper could be good. God, just something about it. Oh, and yet again, now, Sting versus Angle could be a good match, maybe... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll leave my judgment aside until we get to pay-per-view. But I've been skipping over everything from Angle and Jeff Jarrett for, like, the last six months. And I'm still skipping over Jarrett's stuff. I just... All he's doing is running around with his wife, saying stupid shit, not wrestling. Uh, a little too much kid and candy store gimmick there, and I'm, I'm really tired of it. So, Lackluster Impact... Uh, on SmackDown, on to whatever you watch next. Maybe I'll get some wrestling reviews up. And I'm going to see wrestling tonight! Yay! Uh, going to see 2CW. Check out 2CWWrestling.com. Over in Wartown, New York. Mick Foley's going to be there. Sonny's going to be there. Claudio Castagnoli. Um, who the hell? Uh, Slick Wagner Brown, Jay Freddy, uh, Colin and Jimmy Olsen, uh, Jason Axe, Loca Vida, Killer Steves, Big Pond, Zachary Springer III. Um, yeah, I, I know I'm missing people. Uh, oh, uh, of course, Sarah Del Ring, Portion Press. Um, should be a really good show. I'm looking forward to it. Plans just, like, came together less than 24 hours ago for me to be able to go there, so I thank everyone for that. And, uh, I'll be wearing Team Hellion's thing. If you're wondering what that is, look, look somewhere on this page. My logo should be there. So, uh, we'll see you later. Kevin Hellion's, TeamHellions.com.